Hi everyone, welcome back to the Programming Fields. I am Umesh Rana and in the today's video, we are taking our Laravel 12 plus live wire data table to the next level. If you have followed my previous video, where we implemented a fully functional data table using the Rappersoft live wire data table with search, sorting, pagination and bulk actions, then you are going to love this. Because today we are adding a super handy features which is exporting the data table to Excel using Matt website Excel package with full support for filters, search terms and custom headings. Whether you are building an admin panel, CRM or any dashboard, the data export is a must have feature and we are going to make it clean, fast and reusable. So hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already and let's dive right in. But before jumping to the today's session, here is a quick recap of what we have covered in the last episode. We built a complete data table using the Rappersoft Livewire data table package inside Laravel 12 with Livewire starter kit. And the data table package included search functionality. So from here we can search for the project. We have the search clear option. Next we have the pagination. We have the sorting feature and we implemented bulk action. But in the bulk actions, we have not defined the actions as of now. So today we will build on this exact setup and we will implement the export to Excel functionality. Currently I have defined on on click and this is dumping just hello message. So here I will be continuing with the Excel export functionality. So firstly in the browser, I will search for the mat website Excel package. And this is the official documentation of this. This is Laravel Excel package. So let's navigate on this link. Here we have this requirement and further we have this installation. Let's copy this command and let's navigate to the terminal. And in the terminal window, I will paste that command. Now let's hit enter. And this has started installing this package. And the package has been installed. Now in the next step, I will jump to the exports option. So here we have this exports and let's navigate on this five minute quick start. Firstly, we'll have to create one export class. So we are going to export projects data basically. So I will be creating one export class for this project model and respective to the projects, we have the project model. So I will be creating export class for the project model. So let's copy this command. And let's navigate back to the terminal again and let's paste it. Further, we'll have to change the model name to project. And also I will change the export class to projects. And yes, the project export class has been created. And this will be available inside app exports. Here we have this projects export. Inside this, this is fetching all the projects data from the project model. But as per the data table, we need the selected columns to be exported as an Excel. So whenever we will select the projects list from this data table, we have to export those selected data in the form of Excel. Okay. So what I will do on this button click, I will extract these all selected project IDs. So let's implement the functionality. So firstly, I will navigate to the projects table class, which was created for managing the data table. And here we have this exported selected function. This is basically this button action. Let me add one comment here. Function to export selected data to Excel. So here I will be getting all the selected data. So for getting the selected data, this data table package provides a function as dollar this get selected. Now let's capture this in a variable as projects. And if we'll put dump and die projects, and if we'll navigate to the browser, now let's select this project. And if we'll click on export to Excel, yes, we are getting the selected project IDs. Even if we'll select this single project, so let me deselect this, and I will select one or two. Now again, I will click on export to Excel. Yes, this has given the selected IDs. So now we have to pass the selected project IDs to this project's export class, okay? So that based on the selected ID, we will fetch the project data from this project model and we will export in the form of Excel. So let's get the selected project ID. 
so after getting this selected project i will call the excel facade okay so this excel facade is basically provided by this mat website excel so we will have to import it using mat website excel so this will be from mat website excel facades excel okay so this has imported now i will use download function and inside this download i will call that project export class and we have the projects export class so we'll write projects export and we will have to import this class here now inside this projects export class we have to pass the selected projects id so i will pass this variable as projects now in the second parameter we have to pass the file name so that based on the given file name this will export the selected data so i will name it as projects dot excel sx you can convert this in csv as well now from here i will just return this now let's navigate to this projects export class and here let's create one constructor so i will define one constructor now inside this constructor i will receive that parameter as projects so i will capture this in a variable as projects further i will just define one variable as public projects and inside this constructor i will assign this to public variable as dollar this projects equals dollar projects now here inside the collection function instead of returning all the project i will make the query based on selected project id so i will write where in function now inside this i will add condition as if the project table has this selected project id so we will add dollar this projects then i will get the selected fields so inside the get function i will pass the fields in the form of array so i want to download the selected fields based on the data table which are id name description deadline status the project logo is not required in the excel file okay so i will add the selected fields here as id name further we have the description and also we have this status next we have the deadline so i will be adding deadline and lastly we can add created at column okay now here this created at date will be in the time stamp format so what i will do after getting this data i will just parse this so i will be using map function here and inside this map i will extract the project data and i will create one callback function here now inside this callback function i will return one array just like this and inside this return i will get the column like project id here we don't need any customization further we need project name this will be same next we have the description further we have this status so regarding this status i will change this to uc first so that this will have the first letter capital and also i will apply str replace function because our status contains dash so i will just replace that dash with empty string okay now next we have this deadline so i will add deadline and lastly we have this created at date so i will add project created at and i will just format it in the form of ymd this is done now i will navigate to the browser and let me refresh it once now let's select these all columns this has total 7 rows selected now let's click on export to excel when i clicked yes this has downloaded and if we'll check now let me zoom in this okay so we have the id title description status deadline and the created at but alongside the data here i want to display the header as well so in the first row we will have the header and further we will have the data so for this we will have to add the headings inside this excel so let's navigate to the code editor and for adding the headings we will have to implement one more interface provided by mat website excel so after this from collection i will add with heading 
and let's import this with headings class. Now in order to customize the column, I will create one function here. This is basically in build function and we will have to define as headings and this will return the array. Now inside this function, let's define one array and I will return those columns which I want to customize. So for the ID, I want to add ID itself. Next we have the project name. So I will add project name, description, status, deadline and created at. So this is our custom headline. Now if we'll navigate to the browser and let's try exporting again. If we'll check the downloaded files, yes, we have the headers added now. Let me zoom in. Also here we can set auto size for the columns so that every cell will take auto width automatically based on the content length. So for this, this mat website Excel package provides function which will be auto size. So inside this customizing columns, here we have this auto width. Here we can set the formatting of the data. Further we have this auto size. So let's implement this should auto size property. So after this with headings, I will add this. So this will set the auto size for all the columns. Even if you want to set the custom width, this package provides column width functionality as well. So for this, we can set with column widths and you can specify the column size as per the need. Also, we have this styling property. So we can set the font weight, bold, italic, and also we can set the font size. So for the header, I want to set this to font bold. So I will just copy this function. And here, just before this, I will paste it. Okay. And I will just implement this with a styles property. So after this, I will add this with styles. Let's import this. Also this should auto size. And I will remove this other properties. These are not needed only for the first row. I want this to be bold text. Now let's navigate to the browser and let's see the result. I will select the all projects again. I will click on export and yes, this has exported and if we'll check the result. Yes, we have the auto width property applied alongside this header. So by using this way, you can implement the Excel export functionality in the data table or even in the custom format. And that's all. Now you have a fully working Excel export feature in your live wire data table using Laravel 12 plus Matt website Excel plus Rappersoft live wire data table package. This takes your admin panel to the next level. Now users can export exactly what they see in the UI with just one click. Now in the upcoming videos, we will dive even deeper into Laravel 12 plus live wire starter kit. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.